Am I the butthole for using my BF's last name, even though we're not yet married? I've created a throwaway because I usually lurk here but don't have a main Reddit account. This is not a big dramatic situation, but I'm curious about what people will think since this has really divided people in my life. I, 30 female, work as a copywriter in a fairly competitive field. I write in English even though I'm not an English native, but I have been working in this field and in English for over six years. Now, a couple of years ago I was looking for a new job and having difficulty getting interviews. After some time, I realized it may have been because my last name is very typical of my country, think Martinez or similar, and people were screening me assuming my English level. To A-B test this theory, I asked my boyfriend, who is white and English native, if I could use his last name to apply for jobs. I didn't see it as a big deal as we're planning on getting married and me taking his last name anyway. To be clear, other than the name on the CV, I made no claims to be an actual English native, just native level, and I'm always honest about my background and in interviews. Well, guess what? It worked. I got my current job based on that CV, and now use his last name on LinkedIn and all professional channels. Recently, I shared this story with a, white, English native, friend of mine and they were extremely offended. Firstly they accused me of denying my culture, birth country, and trying to be white. Then they said I was lying to companies and misrepresenting myself, and that I could be stealing this job from more deserving people. He even implied that he would go to my current company and reveal my secret which is ridiculous as I've provided my ID to them, so they know that this is not my official name? I was taken aback at how seriously angry he got at this, and I wanted to know. Am I the butthole for using my BF's last name professionally? NTA, sure the change in last name might have gotten them to look at your CV a bit closer, but your achievements and experience don't lie, you got that job on your own merit and for him to suggest that you are taking this job away from someone more deserving that actually does have a white last name is problematic and racist in itself. Yeah the more deserving comment made me side eye this guy a bit. Clearly in this context that more deserving candidate would be someone with a typically white name, and if that's not full-blown racism it's at least a giant wink at it. Op is using a typically white name. It's definitely full-blown racism because more deserving means actually white, not just sounding white. Ding. 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 More deserving and threatening to tell her company are what gave away this blatant racism. Yeah if I were hiring I'd rather it come to my attention that someone faked their name on their resume rather than their experience. Experience, skill, and morals matter more than a stupid name. Which is why I firmly believe names and contact info should be at the bottom or even back of the page to reduce bias while reading. They anonymize CVs at some companies to avoid bias based on the name or other personal details. Should be the norm in my opinion. My grandmother gave both her daughters, in the 1950s, gender-neutral middle names so they could use those on a resume instead of a first name that identified that they were women. Grandma was a planner. My grandmother had a very masculine middle name, her dad really wanted a son and she was the third girl, and applied to jobs using her middle name in the 70s. Her experience got her the job, but the name change got her the interview. She was the first female foreman at that company. When dealing with bias you do what you got to do. My name has a gender-neutral nickname that I use for work credits and resume. Ha! Huh. Found you, Alex. Yeah I changed my name to a male name so I get more interviews. It was my nickname anyway so not really difficult to adjust to. And I did, I got more interviews. It's sad that this happens, but it does. So. Just mustache? My mom was a CPA in the 70s when CPA jobs were advertised in the men-only section of the want ads. She didn't lie, exactly, but when people assumed Chris was Christopher instead of Christine, she didn't correct them. I'm the first girl in my family. Alan is the middle name for everyone. So my mama made into a girl's name. Alin. I guess the drugs were great back in the day. There's a reason so many female science fiction writers, especially in the early days, went by just their initials or by male pseudonyms. They knew women weren't going to be taken seriously, so they did what they needed to do. This is no different. Had an ex whose name was similar to Genevieve Marie. She always went by GM professionally. 
People always thought she was male until they met slash talked to her face to face. Open some doors her real name didn't. She was nutty as a squirrel turd, but she wasn't dumb. I worked with a foreign client exclusively by email for years, then one day they had to call me and couldn't believe I was a woman. Turns out my first name is for men in their country. Strangely enough, they started questioning my work after that. I didn't care because it was boring work, and was leaving that firm anyway, but the sexism sucked. I like that their thought process went from hey this guy is really great, he always does his work to there's no way this woman is doing her job right. Like you've had no issues so far, but once you realize you're working with a woman you think they're a bad employee? I get this same experience often. My name is generally thought of as male if no one notices the accent marks, which most English speakers will ignore. I almost always receive emails that refer to me as he slash him or mister and I never correct them. Once they find out I'm a woman, I get 5 minute long voicemails about how to do something I'm experienced at or asked if I need guidance for what I have been doing. The company I work for also requires us to upload profile pictures on the international employee directory and I have a mark from HR for resisting because I've noticed their gender bias as well. Uck, I've had similar experiences. It really sucks when that happens and you're suddenly being talked down to by the same person you had been cordially exchanging emails with. It's really curious how changing someone's expectations makes you less trustworthy in their eyes, like you didn't deceive them, but they clearly feel deceived or suspicious now. GM professionally. People always thought she was male a car until they met slash talked face to face. Jokes aside, I also sign my papers with first initial and two last names, side note, it's common where I'm from to use both last names, so, in addition to kind of masking my gender by using an initial, I also hyphenate my last names, especially when working with gringos because they usually assume that my first last name is my middle name. I don't know why, but I find it interesting how people think differently, sorry it's worded weird, I can't come up with anything better at the moment. GM equals car to you, GM equals general manager to me, GM equals on to op. And all are correct. My husband has that issue as well. Anything government official doesn't have the hyphen because it doesn't actually exist, but CVs, email signatures, whatever, have the hyphen because he gets all kinds of weird assumptions about what his last name is without it. This reminds me of the author S.E. Hinton who wrote the book, The Outsiders. She intentionally went by her initials because she figured no one would read a book about teenage boys and gangs if they knew it was written by a woman. I am stealing that phrase nutty as a squirrel turd. I love it. Your grandma was right. My mother was even bolder and gave my sister and I full on traditionally male names. Not even a gender neutral name like Sam or Terry. My name would never be expected to belong to a woman and her motivation was the same as your grandma. My mom said if employers were looking at resumes, we wouldn't be counted out just because we were women. At least we would have a better shot at an interview. I hated it my entire childhood but as an adult, even though it's 2020, I have to acknowledge that my mother was right and I know I've gotten callbacks and interviews because the employer thought I was a man. My friend's mom's name is also a straight up man's name. Not even kind of close. Think David or Nicholas or Stanley. President Obama's mother's name was Stanley Ann. Named after her father. My best friend is named Wesley. Cranky old broad. I love her. Is it Kevin? Taylor Swift's parents did the same thing. Taylor has been a unisex name for quite a while actually. Taylor is a gender neutral name. That's absolutely genius. I will do this when I have kiddos, thank your grandmother for me. May I also suggest names that have masculine nicknames. Mackenzie, Mac. Charlotte, Charlie. Danielle, Denny. Christine, Chris or boy name that has kind of become a girl name. Taylor. Tyler. Hunter. Dylan. Cody. Cooper. Carter. Carson. I legit use my masculine nickname on resumes, etc. for this very reason. If they require an application they'll catch it but most companies don't pay much attention to the application. That's why Taylor Swift's parents chose the name Taylor. I'm a female with a traditionally masculine slash gender neutral name but it has definitely become a girl's name in recent times. 
I've wondered if I should shorten it to the masculine sounding nickname that I actually do usually go by so my resume can get a more serious look but I also know some places really are trying to hire more women so I've considered keeping my full name too. Not sure which will benefit me more at this point, but I will say it's annoying I even have to wonder. We did something like this for our kids. We gave them fairly unique first names but fairly normal middle names, boys and girls. So if they didn't like it or had issues they could go by a nickname or their middle name. I gave all my children western middle names for the same reason. Their first names are names from our culture and even though it shouldn't make a difference, it's a fact that resumes are more likely to get binned if your name indicates that you're from a different culture than the dominant one. Whether they use them or not is up to them, but I wanted them to have the option either way. Based Grandma I mean, my CV has a shortened version of my first name on it, which isn't my legal name. I don't see how this can be a big deal unless someone's using a fake name to commit identity fraud or something. Which the ops employers know she isn't, because they have her legal name on file, she just uses a different name professionally. I'll probably end up in the same position, as a scientist, because my fiancé and I will go double-barreled, but I'll keep using my original name professionally to keep all my work connected. I went back to my maiden name professionally when I started my new career because my marriage was on the rocks and I didn't want to have to change names if I got divorced. Both names are very white. I wonder if this guy would be so bent about me not putting my legal name on my CV. I suspect not. And I suspect it's because I'm white and therefore deserving. To add the fact that names can be legally changed at any time, it's not like they are doing anything shady. Yep. My legal name is on every legal document. I don't go by my legal name at all. Ever. Unless I absolutely legally have to. Which is only on legal documents. Hell, I don't even think any of my co-workers aside from the managers know my legal name. Name, gender, age and pics should be forbidden in CVs. There's those studies where resumes have their names struck or replaced with white names but then another set of resumes, which were actually the same ones, used the original black and Hispanic names and the ones with white names got the call back a significant rate more than the ones with those of minorities. And then telling her that she's denying her heritage? WTF does it matter to him what she decides to call herself? That sounds like it's just a way of trying to put her in her place. That disgusted me. I mean I could see if someone in her family said something like that, but someone not of her culture or heritage? Legit, and that comment from the friend about trying to pass op self off as white? Um, white isn't a culture, it's a race that's dominant in a lot of the world you're not appropriating anything by trying to be perceived as default so what's their bug? Unless the friend was of the same ethnicity as original post and was super offended they seemed to be selling their own culture short, I don't know. Edit, oh no the friend was white. It's just racism. Good call. He's literally telling original posts that they are less deserving by virtue of their non-whiteness. And any white person who complains that a non-white person is denying their culture raises red flags, too. I say this is a white person. Hit the nail right on the head. NTA, op. Your friend is just hella racist. Which is complete BS as that would be her legal name if she changed it. I was married, and essentially was able to hide my ethnicity with an Anglo-Saxon name. Now after over 20 years I'm back to my maiden name and I can attest that this kind of assumption and racism is alive and well. The crazy thing is the guy isn't even being racist right? Isn't their whole thing about how less deserving people are getting that oh so coveted EO hire? By that logic, Op's ethnic sounding last name should have given her an advantage. Exactly. Hispanics get this crap all the time, I'm kind of surprised that guy would say something like that. If they don't speak Spanish or listen to that style music, bam denying your heritage. My husband doesn't speak Spanish, and guess what, neither did his dad until he met his wife. NTA, and you could tell your friend that actual studies have been done about this exact issue and people with ethnic names get called back less than half as much as people with white names. I'd also reply, and if I wanted to be white I'd have to learn how to invade peaceful countries to control their oil resources, but I'm snarky like that. Lol yes, if I wanted to be white I'd try and police who can and cannot use a white sounding name. Oh burn. I love white insults and I'm white. 
saying, Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh yeah, that is a great one. If I was really worried about stacking the deck in my favor I would have used his first name too. There's a great story somewhere about a seer of partners where their emails got switched and he couldn't figure out why clients were suddenly giving G him a harder time turns out his emails were suddenly getting signed with her name and then the gender bias was kicking him. Hard. Seriously that guy doesn't get to gatekeep. Oh yes, I recall that. It's nice when men get to find out that we weren't exaggerating, but it would be nice if they'd just believe us in the first place, and I had to google gosh it's funny to read that again. Web link. NTA. I think your friend should be more concerned the obvious hidden racism slash bias going on here, that's you were experiencing. There's studies that confirm your exact situation, that using a less foreign sounding name results in more job responses. I wonder if this friend would have the same reaction if you changed your name after marriage. This is a very over the top reaction honestly, over a last name. To threaten career sabotage because of nothing to do with qualifications? Yikes. I would absolutely cut that person out. For real, original post needs to give him the boot. He sounds pretty racist in my opinion. Plus once she's married that will be her actual last name? Will her friend be permanently offended? I'm more annoyed by the fact that the friend was upset, not by the racism, but by ops loophole to the racism. F that person. NTA op, not at all. Yeah. And their logic just doesn't make sense. There's no way that original post took the job away from someone more deserving. What original post did was eliminate the bias in, that part of, the process, that just evens things up. Also, they must have at some point interviewed original post in person, so it isn't some big lie made to the company. Emo, the angry friend is offended that the experience backs up the concept of white privilege. Then they said I was lying to companies and misrepresenting myself, and that I could be stealing this job from more deserving people. His racism is showing. You can tell he put absolutely no thought into what he said, or he would have realized how colossally stupid it sounds and that he's embarrassing himself. No thoughts had empty except for his utter indignation that original post dared to find a way around bias. Not even just foreign Demarcus is getting less callbacks than Mark Irrelevant that it is pretty much only an American name. Tyrone and Tyler are not getting the same treatment on resumes either. To the point about marriage. There are plenty of married women who still go by their maiden names professional because that's what people in their careers know them as even if they legally change their names to their husband's name. Is Op's friend planning on reporting every one of those women or just the one who found the loophole in this incredibly biased system? Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube. And share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.